Hey, this video is intended to help you get set up for learning in ELA. We're going to focus today on your Google Drive and how that's going to be set up and how it works with Schoology and on enrolling you in a new program called Eduastic. Now, in order to be really successful using this video, what I want you to do is I want you to split screen while you're watching this. And so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. When you have more than one tab open, you can click one of those tabs. And if I click and pull down, I can pull it out. And then if I click up at the top and I drag it over to the side, I can create two different windows for myself. And so what I want you to do right now is I want you to split screen your screen and I want you to have my video on one side and I want you to have your Google Drive on the other. As we're moving through this, I'm going to be showing you everything that I'm doing. I'm going to be explaining it. That's going to be in the presentation on the left. And then I'm going to be actually doing what we're asking you to do on the right. So the first thing that we're going to take a look up is take a look at is setting up your Google Drive folder. So what I want you to do is in your Google Drive, I just want you to go to new folder. And what you're going to do is you're going to title this your last name, comma, first name, and your team. So if I was going to do this, I would say Packard, Ashley, Phoenix. If I was on a different team, then I would write a different team's name after that. I want you to do that right now. Create that folder. Click Create. When it's done, it's going to show up with that folder. It's going to take me directly there. Inside this folder, I am going to create a subfolder for all of my core classes. So to do that, I'm going to double click on that folder that I just created and it should be empty, which you can see here. Now I'm going to follow the direction on the left hand side and I'm going to create the following folders inside of your Phoenix folder or your Aviators folder or your Thunderhawks folder. So the first one that I need to create is ELA writing. So I'm going to go new folder. ELA writing. Now, it's going to be important that we know what hour you have these different things. It's important for your teachers and it's important for you. So if I have ELA writing third hour, then I would do a three dash ELA writing. And I'm going to create that. And now you can see that I've got my first subfolder over here inside my Phoenix folder. Then I'm also going to create my reading folder. If I don't have reading, I can either write bridges, I can create my ELL folder, I can create my resource reading folder, I can do whatever it is that I need to do. And so maybe I have reading sixth hour, so I'm gonna do six dash ELA reading. I need to create my science folder. So maybe I have fifth hour science, and I have eighth hour social studies. You'll notice that we did not make a folder for math and that's because math very rarely is gonna use a Google document, okay? So again, you have your hour and you have their subject for each one of these. Now, for ELA writing, you are going to have subfolders for each of the units that we go through during the year. This Google Drive folder is essentially gonna be a virtual writer's notebook where you're going to put assignments and drafts and brainstorming and presentations and all sorts of things that you create. And so every time that you create something for ELA writing, you're going to go to this folder, double click on it and create it here. When we are in specific units, you're going to even drill down farther and click into those. So in order to set up my ELA virtual writer's notebook, I'm going to create all of the folders that are listed over here on the left. So I know I'm going to need a brainstorming folder. I know I'm going to need a unit one communicating in ELA folder. I'm going to need a oops, unit two information literacy research critical thinking folder and you are doing this as I am doing it so please don't just watch make sure you are doing this unit three elements of literature unit four text structures focus on poetry 
Unit 5, the art of the argument. And finally, Unit 6, what does it mean to be a writer? You are all finished creating those. You are going to share your Google Drive folder with your teachers. Now, what's important is what I'm looking at right here on the right-hand side, that is my actual third hour ELA writing folder. That's my writer's notebook. What I'm going to share with my teachers is my Phoenix folder or my Thunderhawks folder or my Aviators folder. So in order to do that, up at the top is a breadcrumb trail. That's what we call that. So I'm going to click on my name so that I can see my writing, science, reading, and social studies folders. To share it, I'm going to click on the little carrot, go down to share, and I'm going to go to advanced. And then where it says invite people, I'm going to go down here and I can, I can just type my teacher's names. So if I am a Thunderhawk, then I can just type Emily Day. And that would take me right here. By hitting the tab button, that puts her directly in the people that I'm going to invite. So then I can do Stacy Strange, tab, Jack. Oops. Oh, Miss Thompson might not be in there. If that doesn't work, I can always type it out. So hers is Thompson J A. There she is. And then I can do Miss Rich. Now, this is extremely important. No matter how many teachers that you put in here, and feel free, like if you have Bridges or if you have a resource writing teacher or a resource math teacher, please add them as well. Again, you can search by their names. Um, but what's really important is this button that says notify people. And we want to uncheck that button. Every teacher knows that you are doing this today and they do not need the emails that are telling them what to do. So please make sure that you uncheck that box. You'll notice that mine is not checked. I'm going to click OK. And it's like if you skip sending an email notification, people won't know. And that's OK. You want to see that box. So I'm going to click OK. And when I'm done, you can see that everybody that I shared with is right here in that Google Drive folder. And so when I'm finished, I can simply click Done.